I mean, already we just see a miracle at level one with the the point in the in the jump. Finding it very hard to get anywhere close enough for uh, too much CS top lane. Bulldog moving in with AK onto Fly. Fly going for the tree line. The quill sprays are stacking up. One more. Will get the kill. That's going to be first blood there for Alliance. Crit trying to turn. Bulldog. Oh, is he going to get himself a double? He only just is going to go and do so. Will lose his life to Big Daddy. But that's a double kill on your flame bristle back at, uh, in less than a minute game one in the last series where they were kind of just running in and Bulldog, oh, the chains missed. He's been Gale, but look at these Quill Sprays coming out. They are stacking up on the heroes on the side of Monkey Business. They might just find Big Daddy No-Teller, pop the charges, and he gets... Wow. Oh, he gets the crit Feno as well. He's only going to maybe get himself a triple here. Fly's going to look to TP out. He will be able to get away, only just. All right, that was... This is... That helps. Yeah. <laughs> that helps a lot. Oh, they might just get this kill as well. There are the shards to block off Moon. He was able to go for the walk around. Oh, it's it's a lot on S4 now. Can he find that space? Can he find the pickoffs and get some really key hero kills? And maybe the Slark, the, the Ember, obviously the two best targets. He's able to get them really nice deny. 61 base damage versus a Oh, he goes go. in with a blink as well onto Miracle. Ake's there with the chain force. Do they have the damage? No, he gets the shadow dance off. Miracle looking to jump away. As for an Ake looking for the chase. Ake actually gets the slow here. Miracle will be able to purge off the off the slow there. Oh, oh the shards! The shards! Minus on point! And now crit. He's going to be in a lot of trouble as well, and Loda may even just throw the Reaper Scythe in. Oh, he's the timing a little bit off, but they get the kill nonetheless. Probably get picked off a lot. They have very good mobility between those three heroes, and they're great in small-scale fighting. So we're going to see a potential die if you're on a Loda. Go for Loda. Loda has got backup incoming, but is it going to be there quick enough? Jumping straight in, Big Daddy. Loda trying to fight against it. Now with the mech, they might be able to turn this snowball in onto Moon. Moon trapped by the tower. The Shallow Grave will get cast in time. Moon trying to walk away. Big Daddy now in a bit of trouble. There's going to be the Scythe straight onto Moon. He's down now for 60 seconds. They're looking for Big Daddy, and they're going to get him as well. That's going to be the second kill here for the side of our Alliance as they perfectly turn around a gank the monkey business were looking to execute onto Loda. I couldn't quite do anything. He's just gonna make himself and make his way back to the base. Waiting for Alliance to potentially overextend, but Alliance are gonna feel very confident with their position at the moment. Just hitting onto the tier, onto the onto the ranks, in fact, and more oh, with the lesser onto Moon, bringing him back into the center of it all. Slider Fist comes out, Reaper Scythe comes in, but the Shallow Grave is there. Moon will live through the initial instance, but almost certainly will still go down, and he does. That's gonna be the first casualty. Ake getting lows, Miracle's trying to chase it down. Will kill the Lich, load up with the right clicks onto Fly. Fly healing up Crit, and now they're gonna chase down Miracle. If they can kill this Slark, there's gonna be a huge kill here for the side of Alliance. Crit is able to find the kill onto Minus. Miracle trying to jump away with the Flame Break. Bring him back down. Has got the Silver Age. Can he get himself out? No! Bulldog will finish him off. Slider for Searing Chains. Holding Bulldog and Loader in place. They're trying to move in here with Crit as well. We'll get the Gale onto Loader. Loader ready to turn this round though with the Shiva's Guard. Now with the right clicks. Big Daddy with a slide of Fist. Now with a Flame Break. Bring Big Daddy into the center of it all. Bulldog gave the right click. The Shallow Grave from Fly. Keeping Big Daddy alive, but he's not got the mana to get himself out. Looks for the slide of Fist dodge. It doesn't matter. Will still fall. And Crit and Fly, the only ones left alive in the base here. We'll be into Loader if Loader comes any closer to the east and Miracle. Why is he going to be able to find this? They know that they're there. Alliance aren't too aware, but they're keeping themselves safely grouped together. And the silence is going to be onto Bulldog. Maybe not the ideal target to start on. Now Loader waltzing him with the Shiva's Guard. It's a nice poison over here by Crit. Crit will get taken down with the Shallow Grave, keeping himself alive here. No one to die as of yet. Now with the last four lasso, holding Big Daddy in place. Nova was cast, but it doesn't matter because of the side of the Alliance, they just want to continue going. They're not scared of this damage at this point. There's going to be the, the Scythe on to fly. Dead for 78 seconds. They did lose Ake amongst it all. Miracle. Does he want to go back in here with Moon? I don't think he does. I mean, they have pretty much everything they need to end the game, I feel. There is 4k gold at the moment. And also, Big Daddy just boy spent a lot of crit there with the poison over onto two. Bulldog and Loader getting caught out. Shiva's popped by Loader is ready to turn around. Crit getting low will get taken down. That's going to be the first death of this fight. Big Daddy trying to frontline it, moving in with the Flame Guard. Loader gets four staffed out of this one. Mech's popped as well. Loader getting fairly low here. He has, of course, got the Aegis. He's going to be back from round two. The Chain Frost bounces a couple of times there from Ake. And now here comes Loader back again. Miracle getting low, trying to shadow dance himself out of this fight. Will be able to leap away. The Slight of Fist. Whittling them down, oh. but it's still not enough damage. BKB's pop by S4, blinks forward, gets the Lesso onto Moon now. And that's going to be a Reaper Scythe, finishing that's off the Night Stalker. 90 seconds, no buyback. 
Now the buyback from my nuts. He wants to rejoin this fight, realizing the Alliance are in a very good position to keep the tempo going. There we go. Boosu travels in. Snowball now into Big Daddy No Tail. Shards back onto Miracle. He's been kept alive here by the Shallow Grave, but Big Daddy's stuck in the middle of it all as well. He's going to go down. Yeah, he's making kill streak for Bulldog. The quill sprays were just too much stacking oh, up. Oh, the courier died. Oh, that was the eight. Oh, it was the finish by Yone. So, I mean, Big Daddy's dead nonetheless. Find these megas. They did, of course, find that tier three just now. With a little bit of a havoc being caused in the mid lane, drawing Monkey Business's attention away. And Bulldog goes straight in. Crit still has the poison over. Maybe going to want to use it here. With the bash coming out from Bulldog, he's getting fairly low. Slide of Fist here from Big Daddy, still not doing an awful lot. Crit will get the poison over onto two. Now with the Snowball leading in. Crit's going to get punched up by Minuts. They do lose Bristleback. Bulldog's down in. Oh, the they chain. came! Frost bounces! Scythe onto Miracle, but the Shallow Grave is there in time. Now it's a triple kill for Big Daddy, bringing himself back into it. And Ake and S4 incredibly low. Okay, we'll be able to glimmer himself out. Oh, the Slide of Fist just a little bit short. Anyway, Ake does get the TP out. Monkey business will reveal themselves as they clear out this mid lane of creeps and let's see who can get the jump at S4 moving in, wants to find the blink and he gets onto Miracle before the dark pack comes out. BKB's popped as well. Big Daddy trying to do what he can with the slide of fist. Miracle getting low, but the shallow grave's there. Poison over from the side of the fight. The chain frost bounces are lovely. The Reaper side onto Miracle, bringing him low, doesn't quite bring him down. Miracle will still live for this. They'll lose Big Daddy, but he's got the Aegis. He's gonna be there for round two. And Alliance are getting pretty low here. Admiral Bulldog will drop. They'll get the kill on Bristleback. And Ake's in a lot of trouble as well. He has got the Glimmer Cape, it's gonna run out. He's gonna go down. And Big Daddy will get low to here as well. Three heroes dropping on the side of Alliance. They just can't kill anyone on the side of monkey business. I also went to a Reaper, for example, and you turn the fight into a 4v5. Like, that's how Alliance want to play this. But monkey business are not giving them the opportunity. They're smoked again. They want to go. They're ready for the fight. Alliance are kind of split up. It bought up at the moment by the Ancients. He's all alone, all on his own. No tail moving in. They'll look to find the Bristleback first to start this off, and they will get him. Bristleback going to go down. Moon getting low, but the Shallow Grave's there. The Chain Frost is bouncing rather nicely. Crit gets off the Poison Nova, but he's getting Reaper side up, and it will be successful. That's going to be the Venomance down, and out of the fight for 9 seconds to Big Daddy No Tail and Miracle trying to chase it. Gets the Zero and Chase onto Loader. They jump forward from Miracle, but miss. But it allows him to get in close proximity to S4. They'll take down S4. They'll take down Loader as well. Double kill for No Tail. And again, the cores all hitting the deck on the side of Alliance. They do have buybacks available. But now Miracle applying some pressure along the mid lane. Buybacks may just be forced out here by the side of Alliance. As I've been saying, he's been doing a lot the whole game, but he is definitely the, the guy for me this game. Oh boy. S4. Looking to catch someone here. Fire flying forward here with a smoke. Would love to take Moon out for a bit of a trip. Tries to get him over and will. Gets him over the cliff and Moon now. That's no escape. Reaper Scythe down on him. 110 seconds now for this game to be five versus four. Now with the Hex onto Miracle. Moving in the Bash as well. Now there's the Poison Nova. Crit does get it out, but he's getting fairly low himself. Minus moving in, trying to find the kill onto the Venom Answer. The Shallow Grave from Fly just in time. Big Daddy trying to do what he can with a slide of fist, and they're getting low. The Poison Nova ticking down. Will pop Bulldog. He's got the Aegis ready for round two. Minus will be able to finally find the kill potential. Crit does get it there with the Ice Shards. And Minus gets the cheesy, and now he's going to love the Miracle. Can he get it? No, the punch is not enough. Miracle now unstoppable as he takes down Minus on the Tusk. There's been a buyback from Crit here on the Venomancer. And Alliance fairly low at this point. Need to be careful. Big Daddy, can he catch anyone out here? Does get the Searing Chains onto Bulldog. Miracle gets sized up, but he has got that dark pack down time. Looks to eat onto Loader. Will he get him? Yes, he gets the Loader kill. There's a buyback from Minus. He's trying to help. He's helping. He gets the kill onto Slug. A massive buyback there to kill Slug, but he has got buyback here on Miracle. Big Daddy getting caught out by Minus. He will be able to remnant back. Now S4. LinkedIn looking for Crit. Ake getting fairly low here. The poison damage doing a bit for Crit. Ake, will he stay alive? Yes, yes. Crit will go down. Big Daddy gets himself a triple kill as he does get Minus there, so that's a dieback on the Tusk. But I kind of feel it was worth it because that buyback from Minus did secure them the kill on Miracle. Smoke here from Alliance. This could oh, be the pick that they're looking for. Monkey business already and waiting. Crit. They gotta find Miracle or the Ember. Like th those they've are the two got, kills. Yes, they've gotta lock them down, shut them down first. As for this being revealed, oh, no. they know he's jumping straight in. Miracle into the front lines of it. Pops the BKB, the poison over is nice. The BKBs are coming out from the side of the lines. The chain frost is gonna bounce an awful amount of times here. Chris gonna get dropped first. Big Daddy will ram down himself out of the fight here. Moose trapped in the shards. He'll get taken down as well. Two to fall on the side of monkey business. They have lost loader on the side of Alliance. Trying to work on to Miracle, but he's just too damn tanky. And Alliance are just slowly losing health points. Big Daddy's still alive here, being healed up by Fly, trying to walk away. Miracle's gonna be the one with the cleanup here. It's three to drop. 
Bulldog will get himself forced back. S4 and Bulldog still living for the time being, but Miracle is looking to chase now. He's going to hold back. Is he going to be able to find anything more? Looks like S4 and Bulldog will be lucky enough to get themselves away with their lives intact. So he's a three for three trade there. Anywhere near the goal for an Agonim is on the Lich, because I'd love to see a Lich Ags as well. His Lich bounces were actually pretty good in the last yeah, fight. Yeah, they're but... doing a lot. I mean, th the fact that these fights oh, kind of they... go on at this part of the Alliance. Oh! The Ember stop. Okay, he just came here. Miracle wants to go, and in we go straight away onto Bulldog. Gale's going to connect onto two, and he's going to look for Loader. There's your Poison Nova. Connects onto Loader and Bulldog. Bulldog pops the... Uh... What's the BKB? Load up. Uh. We'll get himself forced off down, but now Big Daddy turning up with a side of fist. Abyssal Blade onto Miners. They'll bring down the Tusk. The bounces are nice. Now the refresh. S4 lassoing everybody. Bulldog's trying to work his way for the fight. Big Daddy's have to remnant himself out of this one. Miracle getting low. The Lotus Orb is on him. Then he will be able to get himself out of this alive. But Crip might not be as lucky. Looks like Crip will pay for his sins on the Venomancer. There's going to be a buyback here from Loader. Loader will get himself back in towards the fight blink. Forward from S4. Getting the sticky napalm down here. Forward from Moon. Forces himself back down. Miracle still pretty much on full life points. There's your Scythe coming out onto the slot. Bulldog incredibly low. Needs to get himself away from these guys. That's Loader. A dive back. Oh, that is indeed a dieback. 100 seconds on the clock for Loader. Ake waltzing himself around. Couple of slaps from Miracle will do the job. And you've got three heroes down on Alliance. Be Ember because he can just walk wherever he wants, keep the spirit there, go back when he needs to team fight, and there's not really much of an opening for Alliance to do anything. It's uh, going to be a 72-minute Shadow Blade here for S4. Let's see if he can catch anyone out with it. But Bauer Bulldog's getting caught out himself. S4 here, getting the last over, but he can't rip them out of this he... one. And now okay. he's going back in. The Crimson Guard's being popped, but Miracle starting to build up those Essence Shift stacks. Minus with the Warrior's Punch on to fly is not enough. There's the second Lasso here onto Big Daddy No-Tail. The Shallow Grave is out, and Minus is as well. He gets taken down. They've lost Bulldog here for nigh on two minutes. And the Courier has been fed down the middle lane. Alliance. I think this is it. I think it's over. Mega Creeps are out. And look at that graph. 20,000 lead for the side of Alliance turned into a 25,000 lead for the side of Monkey Business.